Hi, I'm Paul Heaps from Real Property Management, and today we are going to talk about eviction best practices. Uh, evictions are something that really no one enjoys, obviously, uh, both the tenant and the landlord. It can be um, a difficult process. Uh, so today I'm going to talk about some things that will help you avoid that. The, uh, the first thing you want to do is have a system for collecting rents. Um, and what I mean by that is it can Tenants typically will understand and they'll kind of learn, you know, the squeaky wheel gets the grease. So, for example, um, if you don't have a system set up where um, you just routinely send them late notices or um, the next step in the eviction process, they will learn uh, that they can, they can write it out, essentially. Um, and so what will happen is the first of the month comes, they'll understand that, that maybe you don't have a, a great collection routine set up so they'll know that they can get to you know two three weeks into the month before you call them or, or send them a notice or that type of thing so the the main thing is to have a system set up um, so typically what what we do and what we recommend is is after the rent is is four days late um, a, a late fee applies that would be the minimum um, they would get sent an email notice saying that their rent is due along with a late fee uh, and then after that, they're uh, sent a, two days after that, they are sent a seven day notice or, or Michigan, we call it a demand for possession. And basically what that does is it tells them that they have seven days to either pay the rent um, or move out. Um, and along with that is an additional fee um, for having to serve them with this uh, seven day notice. So, so basically what happens is as we go through the process, um, they understand that um, okay, if, uh, if they are not going to pay their rent on time, it's going to be costly for them. Um, also, they learn that we're serious about, about collecting the rent. So typically, we have very few evictions, um, and I think a reason for that is because the tenants understand that we have a, a serious um, collection policy. And, and the other thing about it is we don't get personal about it. Um, we don't go knocking doors, um, things like that, um, that could be dangerous for everybody and um, so we don't recommend that type of thing either. Uh, if you'd like to listen or you'd like to ask us any questions, uh, please free to call us and we're happy to help and answer whatever questions you may have. Thank you.